Besides being the first day of December, it's also Wemple Wednesday here on TBD Mojo. Among Eric's media hits and misses, does the Washington Post know the difference between seats and bleachers? Now with his Fuego Frio, here's Eric. Thanks for the Toast Mojo so good. This is mid to late after keep up. Wow, get right into the pile. First up, ready to rent. Publication of the Washington Post. Look what they say. H Street Corridor, the next renter's hotspot inside. It says H Street is about to become red hot. Huh. Wasn't that the case about eight to 10 years ago? Hey, while we're at, let's just say, hey, Apple, that Apple Corporation is about to get into the phone business. Gee, come on, H Street's about to get hot. Come on, Athens Olympics. Next one, Washington Hispanic, unbelievable newspaper. It's got an English title, but how does it handle English news? It buries it. Look at this. Page 26, a wire post deep inside. It says El Principe Guillermo and Kate Middleton about to get married. Look at this. Washington Hispanic knows to bury news about the British crown. It's worthless. Washington Hispanic on the Fuego side for really subordinating. Uh, Subordinating uh, the English royals. Next one, the examiner, the Washington examiner. Look at this. This is a newspaper. Okay, newspaper. What do we get on the gossip page? Alexander Ovechkin dines at Cafe Milano. He enjoys pasta and pizza with some teammates. Dog bites, man, all the way. Come on, watch the examiner. I don't want another Ovechkin. He just like ate some pasta. Come on. Maybe if he's dining with Sally Quinn or, you know, Terry Robisky or something. Uh, I don't know. But that's a terrible story. Come on, next one. Washington Post Sports section. Look at this. This is about the Bird Stadium, University of Maryland. Football fans. Not many are showing up. Take a look at that. It says Maryland officials are concerned about the number of fans in seats. But... I only see bleachers. Look at that, bleachers. I don't see any seats in there. You see any seats? Those are bleachers. Come on, Post Sports, get your terminology right. Hat tip to uh, for free, for, uh, free for all. Next one. Downtowner writes a story about TBD, this particular entity here. And it says that the owner, the visionary owner, Roger Albritton. Roger Albritton? This is the way they spell Roger Albritton. Oh no! Oh no, correction coming up! Look at this! The Fuego Frio spell check indicates that the downtowner is 81.25% correct. They get 13 of the 16 characters right. Good enough to own them. A Frio on the Fuego Frio spell check front. Next one, the Washington Post. Look at this front page just after Black Friday. It says, swarms of shoppers charge the malls eager to spend. Dash, but cautiously. Is that a drama dash violation? Heck no! That's good use of the dash! Excellent use of the dash! But cautiously, it gets the seasons so that people are worried about their pocketbooks! Nice work, Washington Post! Way to put the use of the dash correctly, that's it! Fuego Frio, we love you around these holiday time! Next week, we'll see you! Harry Quempo, our own holiday elf.